Okay, so in our last video, we created a program that would ask you for your name, it would let you insert your name, and it would print out, hello, your name, exclamation mark. And in this video, I'm gonna be explaining essentially the difference between a value and a variable, what they are and what they do. And it came to my mind that in my last video, I didn't really show you how to create a project, and that could be quite essential if you're new to programming. So let's just get started in the IntelliJ idea by going to new project. You'll get greeted with this nice uh, screen that says Kotlin. You want to check that. Then you want to click next. Then here you can assign a name to your project. So I'm going to do a lesson two. I will write on finish. We will open it in this window. And then as soon as it loads, you'll have this empty project where you can click on this package over here and right click on the source and add a Kotlin file, which is just going to be named main. Then of course, every project needs a main function so that it can actually execute some code. And now we are exactly where we left off last time. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a few variables and values so I can quickly explain the difference. So the first one's gonna be a variable of item and that's gonna be of a string which is gonna be called hammer. And one thing you need to know about Kotlin is you do not need to explicitly decide what kind of data type it is. It does that automatically for you. So it will know that this is a string without explicitly writing string. For example, if you want to explicitly say it's a string, you can write var item two, and you can write of type string equals hammer. And it's exactly the same thing, but that's really beautiful with Kotlin. It automatically does that for you. But anyway, that's a var item which is called hammer, and then we're gonna write value fruit, which is gonna be of apple. So, so far, as you can see, they look quite similar, with the exception that variable can be changed later, value will not allow you to change this anytime in your program, or else you will get a compilation error. So, for example, if we want to write uh, down here that we want to change the value of item to carrots, the program will be happy with that. You can print the carrots as you wrote earlier. All right, let's do print line. There we go. It will allow you to print the carrots, which was previously initialized as a hammer and everything will work fine. But when it comes to value, you can't write fruit equals carrots. It will not allow you to change it because value is pretty much the equivalent to the final keyword in Java, which means it cannot be reassigned. And this is good for having pretty much values that you don't want to change at any time. And it's very important to pretty much differentiate these. Usually the compiler will tell you, hey, you don't really need to use a var, you can use a value here because it never changes. For example, let's write uh, var item two down here inside the function, and that's gonna equal caret. And then right under we write print line item two, it's gonna give you this warning that says, you know, you've never really touched variable of item two. You can just assign that as a value and that is fine. You can do that to fix it. So the compiler is really friendly about these things. But yeah, that's essentially all you need to know about variables and values is that variables can be changed at any time, values can't. And maybe one more example is create a value of a number and that's gonna equal, let's say it's something pretty specific, so you wanna do pi, so 3.1415, I'm not gonna go any further than that. And then down here you want to be, you want to write, actually the number should equal five. It still won't let you do that. Not only is it the wrong data type, because I changed it to a float here, but it also is a final value or a value, and that is immutable, which means it cannot be changed, and that can save you a lot of hassle if you don't want a value to be changed and you accidentally type it in. And that is the difference between a variable and a value. In the next video, I'll be going over data types and we'll make another small program using what we've just learned in this video. But uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.